mind blown. That's the feeling that Tesla owners Silicon Valley collectively had after Elon Musk responded to their tweet. Starship is the biggest rocket ever built on September 9th. Specifically, Musk said, likely to be 10 to 20% longer in later versions. Longer. Bigger. Maybe it's still not enough for Elon Musk. He wants a vehicle to carry as many citizens to the Red Kingdom. However, it's not just Tesla owners Silicon Valley, but the feeling of many after Musk's announcement. In the future, we will see Starship versions that are bigger, stronger, and better than current prototypes. So, how will Musk's ideas change the Starship system? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. The whole world is turning its eyes to SpaceX, to Starship, and counting down to the day of this vehicle's second IFT. The excitement is understandable. For most of us, we still remember the first flight of the Falcon Heavy, which sent Musk's Tesla Roadster and Starman into orbit. It was one of the most impressive moments SpaceX has created. Expectations with Starship are probably even greater than that. But the first orbital test flight on April 20th did not give us that feeling. So the expectations for the upcoming flight are extremely high. Everything seems to be ready for Starship's second orbital test flight. If successful in the upcoming mission, SpaceX will create many new records, one of which will certainly be the title of the company that launched the biggest vehicle in the world. That is quite the title, and perhaps there's no debate. A complete prototype including the latest Starship and Super Heavy will have a height of 122 meters with a diameter of 9. At that size, it easily surpasses the Saturn V, which was the world's largest rocket for a long time. With its size, its total mass reaches 5,000 tons and is able to carry up to 150 tons of cargo or 100 passengers into orbit. But for Musk, that may not be enough. He still wants Starship to be bigger and better to serve the Mars colonization mission effort. While the world is waiting for the second orbital test flight, Musk again has shocked us with his statements. I'm referring to, of course, the tweet that he responded to from Tesla owners Silicon Valley on September 9th saying that Starship will be likely 10 to 20% longer in later versions has attracted a lot of attention from SpaceX fans, as well as the whole of aerospace. Let's clarify this change. Starship's current height is 122 meters, increased by 2 meters from 120 after adding the hot staging interstage. According to Musk, Starship will increase its height by 10 to 20 percent, so its new height will reach around somewhere between 134.2 to 146.4 meters. With this change, Starship will be able to increase its payload. The payload will include cargo, people, and fuel. The increase in payload is a potential cost-saving solution for SpaceX, as it could help optimize the number of flights. It'll also help save time, making transportation to Mars faster, and reducing waiting time. Most importantly, the increase in the payload of cargo and fuel will bring about great benefits to interplanetary missions, since each additional kilogram of cargo or fuel will be extremely valuable in space exploration. But before achieving those benefits, SpaceX must solve many problems. The first problem is the design. It'll need to have many changes, such as redesigning the interior for passengers, expanding the cargo compartment, or expanding the fuel tanks. This is difficult because changes are not only about increasing the size, but also making sure that there's balance between the parts. Next are the engine changes. A larger vehicle with more payload will make it heavier. That means the engines need to be larger and more powerful to lift the vehicle. 
It can be said then that engine research and development is the most difficult task in the aerospace field. Engineers need to ensure the engines are not only powerful, but also stable. The problem of engine stability was evident during the first orbital test flight. Additionally, related facilities also need to be changed and upgraded, such as the Mechazilla launch tower system. It'll need to be taller. The Mechazilla arms or QD arms will also need modifications to help it be able to lift and catch a large starship or super heavy booster. That will be a challenge for SpaceX engineers. So many challenges. But why is Musk still so confident? Well, he has his reasons for any sort of declaration of this magnitude. First, there's the thrust issue. We've all witnessed the power of the Raptor engine. It's no surprise then that it is considered one of the most powerful engines. The deep hole under the OLM after the April 20th launch is evident of its power. But it could be even more powerful if the next version of the Raptor engine, Raptor 3, is released. In May, this version was tested and its result after the test surprised many, with rust increased to 2.69 meganewtons. It will make Starship 18% more powerful than the current version. Moreover, production of the Raptor engine has been extremely fast. Factories can produce one engine per day like the current Raptor 2 version. Version. The biggest problem is increasing stability, and SpaceX has talented engineers who can solve those challenges. The capabilities of SpaceX's engineers have been proven throughout the company's development process. They have helped the Falcon 9 become the world's most stable and reliable orbital launch vehicle. They've also helped SpaceX become the company that owns the most satellites in orbit. For the Starship project after the first orbital test flight, their capabilities were shown more clearly. In just a few months, the changes and upgrades in Starship and related infrastructure were almost complete. And now, it stands prepared for the second orbital test flight. At other companies, the few months that SpaceX had would take them a year or more. And for those who think Musk's recent statement is crazy, I just want to impart with you that it's not a new thing for Musk. Ideas appear in Musk's mind all the time. And before this particular tweet, Musk created many crazier ideas when it came to Starship, of which the most prominent is Starship 2.0. Back in 2019, he tweeted that the Starship's diameter could be increased, reaching 18 meters, surpassing the diameter of the Soviet N-1 rocket. If increased by the fineness ratio, Starship 2.0 will have a height of nearly 240 meters, doubling the version they are currently producing. According to estimates, in Starship version 2.0, the surface area, propellant tank volume, thrust requirements, and mass will increase by a factor of 8. The total weight will be up to 40,000 tons, and SpaceX will need at least 100 Raptor engines to help lift this monster. It will be interesting when this version eventually comes to reality. Can you imagine it? It would be nearly three quarters the height of the Eiffel Tower, and the current Starship version would just be like a tiny speck of dust. It all sounds so unrealistic, but dreams have no limits, especially for ambitious people like Elon Musk. Throughout aerospace history, vehicles have gradually become bigger and more powerful. So how can we know what their limits are? We can laugh at Musk's crazy ideas, but we also have to admit that he is helping this Starship get bigger and stronger and better. And thanks to that, the road to Musk's biggest dream, Mars colonization organization is also getting closer. But before thinking about those scenarios, there's more work for Musk and his team to do. That is, to work well in the upcoming Starship's second orbital test flight mission. The world is extremely excited after Starship completed upgrades and passed recent tests. Many had hoped that it could launch this September, but recently the FAA announced that we will have to wait at least until October may be a long time for die-hard fans of SpaceX and the Starship, but we've been waiting a few months, so let's try to wait a little more. 
The time we are waiting for SpaceX is still much shorter than other companies. Now, more than ever, believe in Elon Musk, in SpaceX, and especially in the Starship. All in all, the future mayor of the first Martian city, Elon Musk, will have the city's gates as well as his arms wide open to welcome us to the next frontier. And that's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Your feedback is very important to us because it helps us make better videos for you. And for that, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time.